That right there is a pika haystack. And I'm here to try and photograph pika. Uh, so this is what they do, preparation for winter. You can see there's just a little tiny bit of snow on the ground. But they build these big haystacks for their food because they don't hibernate. So once the snow piles on top, they'll have uh, that food to eat throughout the winter. So obviously a good spot to try and find pika. They're really hard to find up in the rocks. They could be anywhere. And of course they blend in perfectly. So I'm gonna just kind of sit here and stare at these rocks until my eyes go cross-eyed. Uh, once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll actually like, you know, one will pop up and like honk at you. They kind of do this beep honk noise, which is so cute. But most of the time I see them just, I see something moving amongst the rocks and I can't even identify it. I just see like something move out of the corner of my eye and that helps me find the pika out here. But uh, I'm going to kind of set up here, back away from the haystack and uh, set up with the 600 F4 and uh, wait and see if, see if anything happens this afternoon. It's cold today. It's about 35 degrees, a light breeze. It's in the shade, and I'm going to be sitting on a cold rock, potentially for a couple of hours, waiting for, hopefully, some pika to start moving around amongst these rocks so I can make some photos. So uh, these are awesome little creatures to photograph. They're super cute. They're like little mini bunnies, and uh, it can be really fun if they come out to play. So hopefully they do. If they do, I'll actually publish this video which would be great. So anyway, I'm gonna back up, sit quietly, and hopefully get some pika action. one he's a long ways away he's still like 30 yards away and now he's behind some bushes and stuff but uh, I think I want to move see if I can change positions without spooking him so I don't have these bushes in my way So I lost him for a minute here. It took about over an hour for him to come out before I, I was sitting over there looking back towards the haystack here. Oh, there he goes. He moved. He moved. 
There he is. All right, I lost sight of him again. So I'm back at the original haystack. I had to kind of sneak back up here closer. And, uh, and then I actually had a really good photo op. He popped out right here in the rocks right in front of me, maybe like 20, 25 feet away. And uh, just posed for me. He's big, fat, chubby, fluffy thing. Awesome looking. Um, and now it's just kind of popping in and out of the rocks here. So I'm just kind of hanging and uh, hoping for some more photo ops here with this cool little creature. So it's a lot of waiting around and try, just trying to find him. Even though he's right here, they, they blend in perfectly. And amongst all this scree and these boulders, they're just really hard to see. So I'm kind of going cross-eyed, just staring at this wall of rocks. All right, another little lull here in the action. I've got the 600 F4 and Nikon D850. Uh, I'm in aperture priority out here. ISO 1600 because it's pretty dark. And uh, my shutter speed is, I'm kind of getting between 1 1 60th and 1 2 50th of a second. So I have no hope of any fast action of like catching them running through the rocks for a bunch of reasons, but it's too dark and my shutter speed would be too slow. So. Um, I'm okay with that, like around a 200th of a second is fine because they'll just kind of perch and like eat or something and just or just watch me a little bit, just kind of on a nice little rock or something. And that's plenty of shutter speed for it sitting still. So um, as I said, no no action's gonna happen here tonight. I'm, I'm happy with just getting, uh, you know, a nice um, pica on a rock today. And I've gotten a few of those so far, so I'm psyched. Just hoping for a little more action before I call it quits here. The light's fading fast, though. All right, since I'm here, I'm going to do my best pike impression. Which is terrible, but here it goes. <clears throat> Me! I could do better. Give me a second. Me! I think that's as good as I got, and it's terrible, but it's kind of like that. All right, so I think I'm going to call it a day out here with the pika. It's been about a half hour since I've seen one, and uh, it's starting to get dark. So I'm going to give up here. I made a few photos. Uh, I could have done better, could have done worse, but I uh, got a really nice full front on just showing how chubby and beautiful that one was. Had an absolute blast, of course. That's priority number one. Um, but next time you're out cruising around near some of these scree fields, look for those little haystacks out here. That's what those are. Those are the pikas preparing for winter, and that'll be their... Is it pikas or pika? I don't know what multiple pika are called. Um, doesn't really matter. But uh, thanks for watching. Short little video today. Uh, if you want to join me in Africa in February, check out my website. Get in touch with me. Also, private Yellowstone in January. If you want to do some private winter work up in Yellowstone, get in touch with me as well. So thanks again for watching. Give it a, if you liked it, don't do that. Though. I mean, you could do that if you want, but it makes me feel bad. <laughs> Anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the pika. I love coming out and doing pika. They're, uh, they're kind of challenging, uh, at least out here. And uh, I love a good challenge. Have a good one. See you next time.